Well, this powerful winter storm flooded some coastal communities as well, forcing some evacuations. Our team coverage does continue for you from Atlantic City right now. Eyewitness News South Jersey reporter Brandon Goldner is live there in that area where skies are clear. See a glimmer of sunshine there over you, Brandon, but the temperatures are dropping quickly. Absolutely right, Natasha. The floodwaters that were out here earlier has since receded, but the wind is still incredibly gusty. It's incredibly cold out here. The wind actually contributed to some of that flooding earlier this morning. Winds this morning were so gusty it caused street signs and traffic lights to violently shake. Meanwhile, firefighters jolted awake 27 people who live in motels off Black Horse Pike and were stranded by the early morning flooding. I get so scared. I guess so scared. Monica McRae is one of those motel tenants. I can't walk. I don't have no shoes on. And I have a wheelchair. I go to the dialysis. And I'm flooded in my house and I have nowhere to stay. She and other families were taken to this gas station where workers like Thomas Bodie did everything they could to be hospitable. These are our people. These are our neighbors. I live across the street. I know all these people by name. I mean, it's just wrong. I'm out here in my slippers because I get my shoes away. You know what I mean? Come on, look. This poor lady here. Bodie says he's frustrated. These people had to be rescued, and the motels didn't evacuate tenants earlier. It's ridiculous. These poor people, I'm telling you, they're coming barefoot. They're all barefoot in there and all soaking wet. You know what I mean? Somebody should be taking care of them. Emergency management says nearly all of the evacuated people were able to either return to the motels they were staying in or they found shelter with friends and family. As the water slowly recedes, Bodie says the stress many of these people experienced this morning won't fade away anytime soon. It makes you cry, man. I mean, they're people too, you know what I mean? Now, the Red Cross says that they have received a dispatch to help people here in Atlantic County receive shelter. They're checking their numbers right now to see if any of those people did end up taking shelter. Live in West Atlantic City, Brandon Goldner, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Brandon, thank you so much. Now, the holiday